in some sense, we are back to the age of research. So maybe here's another way to put it. Up until 2020, from 2012 to 2020, it was the age of research. Now, from 2020 to 2025, it was the age of scaling, or maybe plus minus, let's add error bars to those years, because people say, this is amazing, you gotta scale more, keep scaling, the one word, scaling. But now the scale is so big, is the belief really that, oh, it's so big, but if you had 100x more, everything would be so different. Like, it would be different, for sure. But like, is the belief that, if you just hunted X the scale, everything would be transformed? I don't think that's true. So it's back to the age of research again, just with big computers. But let me ask you the question you just posed then. What, what are we scaling and what, what, is, what would it mean to have a recipe? I wouldn't even call it a scale um, scaling. I would say, hey, like, what are you doing? <laughs> and is the thing you are doing the, 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 the most productive thing you could be doing? Yeah. Can you find a most, more productive way of using your compute? We've discussed the value function business earlier. And maybe once people get good at value functions, they will be using their, their um, resources more productively. If you find a whole other way of training models, you could say, is this scaling or is it just using your resources? I think it becomes a little bit ambiguous in a sense that when people were in the age of research, back then it was like people say, hey, let's try this and this and this. Let's try that and that and that. Oh, look, something interesting is happening. And I think there will be a return to that.